No, this video is not clickbait. I am not clickbaiting you. Whatever I am about to tell you is very concerning for those who play PSO2 New Genesis on PC. Recently, a Reddit post was published on the PSO2 forums that talks about a Steam branch found in PSO2 New Genesis. It is called Welbia, and this branch was added since the beginning of February. Steam branches are different versions of games that are either only available for developers to create multiple versions of their game, likely for testing purposes, or for others to down or upgrade their game version. These are publicly visible for anyone who uses the Steam API, so it's no secret they're trying to hide. This is what almost every video game company does that sells their game on Steam. Back to the website, as mentioned on the Reddit post, this is the Wellbia branch. As we are looking at it, it was updated less than 24 hours ago. To clarify what Wellbia stands for, the name Wellbia stands for a South Korean company that is currently developing an anti-cheat called Zigncode 3, and the anti-cheat has been in use for over 150 games on PC alone, as they claim. Games like AION, Blade and Soul, Soul Worker, Terra, DJMAX Respect 5, and Black Desert Online have all used the anti-cheat and some still use it by this day. Out of the 150 games, around 70 Steam games are also using the anti-cheat as well. The Steam branch Wellbia is being updated from time to time, which means that Sega is actively trying out the anti-cheat Zigncode 3 within its Wellbia branch. What I am about to read out to you should alarm you, especially if you play on the Japanese servers of PSO2 New Genesis. They are most likely strengthening their IP blocks yet again. Are you using a VPN or proxy to play on JP servers? Too bad, the anti-cheat detects foreign connections and unauthorized IP bypass blocks. Or do you live in Japan or any other country that doesn't let you play and download the game? RIP, you can't play the game anymore, because it's blacklisted in your region. Not only does it IP block you if it detects you are in the wrong location, or using a VPN with an IP address that is registered by a VPN, but it will also prevent you from using any macro input accessories. Do you use external tools to set up macro for your keyboard and mouse? They might not work anymore. On top of that, they will go after any type of file modification. I tried looking into it and I myself am not sure what they mean by it either, it could mean that texture swaps won't work anymore, as they're being detected by the system, or even something simple as stopping reshade from working anymore. Oh, do you play PSO2 on your Steam Deck? That's even worse, because there is a chance it won't even run on the deck, since it's a rootkit and Linux doesn't like that. While they have promised to work on the compatibility between Zigncode and the DEC, I have yet to see a game that works on the DEC with the anti-cheat. According to my research, I have yet to find one that is verified on Steam DEC, but it could mean that you'll have to wait a few months before it's verified on the DEC. Apart from the mentioned points, here's a very short summary of what else it claims to do. But what will it not prevent? Bots and cheaters. Let's be real, they cannot be ultimately prevented unless harsh and strict measures are taken. They will very likely still plague New Genesis. While I am not sure about the cheaters myself, as I have barely seen any in public, we all know the RMT bots that keep standing in Elio and spamming their shady website, just to steal your credit card information won't disappear anytime soon. However, I've seen more bots swarming around together on the Japanese version than on the global version, completing story quests and farming Maseta in an automated process, so it must mean they're trying to get rid of them by any means necessary. The joke with the anti-cheat is that many game developers have already thought about the same thing and have been trying to get rid of the bots, yet the anti-cheat isn't very efficient at eliminating the bot problem. Nearly any anti-cheat will eventually be bypassed, and it's to no surprise it already has been multiple times, according to Google searches. This is not me trying to sound blackpilled, I am only being realistic with my view and opinion regarding this anti-cheat. Seeing the results on multiple web search browsers, I doubt this anti-cheat will prevent harm, as it'll only cause more harm to the legitimate users. Does that mean they will replace the current GameGuard anti-cheat with Zincode 3? I am not sure when they will do that, 
but it is very likely they will. This will not only further lower the player base of JP Ship 2, but also restrict us, the players much more than what we think. A quick Google search, especially with games that use it, should tell you how bad this anti-cheat is, and how it's been bypassed. There are literally videos showcasing how people have done it in public. I don't believe this anti-cheat will benefit anyone, in fact I believe it's worse as and worse than GameGuard already is, and in the end, only the legitimate players will get hurt by the implementation of it. If we look back at games like Terra, an online RPG game that was alive until the servers were shut down years ago, the devs even removed Sign Code 3 because of outrage by its player base. The same goes for Black Desert Online, which now uses easy anti-cheat, because the anti-cheat was unable to solve the botting and cheating problem for the game. Or look at S4 League, a third-person shooter from more than a decade ago. It's been having cheating problems for so long, and it still uses Sign Code 3. Yet the game suffers from a plague of cheaters and bots, and it looks like they don't care about doing anything about it. What is your opinion on this topic? Is this all just a conspiracy theory, or do you believe it'll eventually happen? Have you ever heard about Zing Code 3, or know of games that used it as well? What was your experience like? Let me know in the comments down below. As I'm about to end this video, I want to give a shout out to every channel member supporting my channel. Thank you again! If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We are close to getting 4,000 subscribers and I am considering making a 4,000 subscriber special too. So feel free to contribute and I will see you in the next video.